Now, this is really the surprise of the night uh, in Tunisia. I think you would have found very few people uh, in Tunis yesterday who would have put uh, Case Syed as the man who was going to come out uh, on top in this election. This is at least according to private polling. Uh, he is a constitutional lawyer, uh, as you say, but he's also a man who doesn't have the backing of a political party behind him, nor a major religious faction in the country. He seemed to run his political campaign uh, kind of on a shoestring for this election. He travelled around uh, by himself, going door to door, speaking to voters. He didn't have a big uh, online campaign, a big campaign on social media. Uh, and what are his politics? Well, the thing that's interesting about him is he is, in a way, his politics aren't... He, ha he has an outsider status, which makes him similar to the other man who, it appears, has got through to uh, the second round, Nabil Kawi. He's also somebody who pitted himself as the anti-establishment figure in this election. He's a man who has apparently gone through to the second round, even though he remains uh, in prison and has fought this entire election campaign uh, from uh, behind bars. Now, Back to uh, K. Said. He's also a man who has um, some pretty socially conservative views. He has some sympathies for the Islamist Salafist movement here in the country, which is even more uh, socially conservative than the Anada movement, the kind of moderate Islamist force here in the country. So lots of surprise here in Tunisia today about uh, those two men who are apparently going through uh, to the second round. But we'll have to wait, as you say, uh, for the final polling to confirm uh, those results uh, later this evening or tomorrow morning.